June 2. Wine produces mockers. Alcohol leads to brawls. Those led astray by drink cannot be wise. The king's fury is like a lion's roar. To rouse his anger is to risk your life. Avoiding a fight is a mark of honor. Only fools insist on quarreling. Those too lazy to plow in the right season will have no food at the harvest. Though good advice lies deep within the heart, a person with understanding will draw it out. Many will say they are loyal friends, but who can find one who is truly reliable? The godly walk with integrity. Blessed are their children who follow them. When a king sits in judgment, he weighs all the evidence, distinguishing the bad from the good. Who can say, I have cleansed my heart, I am pure and free from sin? False weights and unequal measures, the Lord detests double standards of every kind. Even children are known by the way they act, whether their conduct is pure and whether it is right. Ears to hear and eyes to see, both are gifts from the Lord. If you love sleep, you will end in poverty. Keep your eyes open, and there will be plenty to eat. The buyer haggles over the price, saying, It's worthless, then brags about getting a bargain. Wise words are more valuable than much gold and many rubies. Get security from someone who guarantees a stranger's debt. Get a deposit if he does it for foreigners. Stolen bread tastes sweet, but it turns to gravel in the mouth. Plans succeed through good counsel. Don't go to war without wise advice. A gossip goes around telling secrets, so don't hang around with chatterers. If you insult your father or mother, your light will be snuffed out in total darkness. An inheritance obtained too early in life is not a blessing in the end. Don't say, I will get even for this wrong. Wait for the Lord to handle the matter. The Lord detests double standards. He is not pleased by dishonest scales. The Lord directs our steps, so why try to understand everything along the way? Don't trap yourself by making a rash promise to God and only later counting the cost. A wise king scatters the wicked like wheat, then runs his threshing wheel over them. The Lord's light penetrates the human spirit, exposing every hidden motive. Unfailing love and faithfulness protect the king. His throne is made secure through love. The glory of the young is their strength. The gray hair of experience is the splendor of the old. Physical punishment cleanses away evil. Such discipline purifies the heart. The king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. People may be right in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their heart. The Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than when we offer Him sacrifices. Haughty eyes, a proud heart, and evil actions are all sin. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Wealth created by a lying tongue is a vanishing mist and a deadly trap. The violence of the wicked sweeps them away because they refuse to do what is just. The guilty walk a crooked path, the innocent travel a straight road. It's better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Evil people desire evil. Their neighbors get no mercy from them. If you punish a mocker, the simple-minded become wise. If you instruct the wise, they will be all the wiser. The righteous one knows what is going on in the homes of the wicked. He will bring disaster on them. Those who shut their ears to the cries of the poor will be ignored in their own time of need. A secret gift calms anger. A bribe under the table pacifies fury. Justice is a joy to the godly, but it terrifies evildoers. The person who strays from common sense will end up in the company of the dead. Those who love pleasure become poor. Those who love wine and luxury will never be rich. The wicked are punished in place of the godly and traitors in place of the honest. It's better to live alone in the desert 
than with a quarrelsome, complaining wife. The wise have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. Whoever pursues righteousness and unfailing love will find life, righteousness, and honor. The wise conquer the city of the strong and level the fortress in which they trust. Watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut, and you will stay out of trouble. Mockers are proud and haughty. They act with boundless arrogance. Despite their desires, the lazy will come to ruin, for their hands refuse to work. Some people are always greedy for more, but the godly love to give. The sacrifice of an evil person is detestable, especially when it is offered with wrong motives. A false witness will be cut off, but a credible witness will be allowed to speak. The wicked bluff their way through, but the virtuous think before they act. No human wisdom or understanding or plan can stand against the Lord. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. The rich and poor have this in common. The Lord made them both. A prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. True humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honor, and long life. Corrupt people walk a thorny, treacherous road. Whoever values life will avoid it. Direct your children on to the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. Just as the rich rule the poor, so the borrower is servant to the lender. Those who plant injustice will harvest disaster, and their reign of terror will come to an end. Blessed are those who are generous because they feed the poor. Throw out the mocker, and fighting goes too. Quarrels and insults will disappear. Whoever loves a pure heart and gracious speech will have the king as a friend. The Lord preserves those with knowledge, but he ruins the plans of the treacherous. The lazy person claims, There's a lion out there. If I go outside, I might be killed. The mouth of an immoral woman is a dangerous trap. Those who make the Lord angry will fall into it. A youngster's heart is filled with foolishness, but physical discipline will drive it far away. A person who gets ahead by oppressing the poor or by showering gifts on the rich will end in poverty.